But moving forward, I just you're going to have to contextualize this for your child. I disagree that uh, there is nothing, when you say there's nothing inherently sexual about the transgender movement and the LGBTQ movement. Whoa, whoa, whoa I didn't say that. What I said was uh, regarding the, the alphabet shirts, the pride shirts. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, there's nothing so inherently about sexual about the pride shirts at Target. Oh, oh for, forgive me. I, I kind of tuned out mentally for a sec uh, there. Were you just talking about the shirts or were you talking yeah, about Yeah, because that's what people are talking? upset, right? They're upset at that they had a, a children mannequin with pride shirts and whatnot. So the this, this shirts, I haven't heard anything specifically about that. But what I did see people posting about was how they have the trans suits for the kids. So say there's a kid who says he's trans, they have Oh yeah. So for... yeah, that's there's nothing sexual about that. No, I'm, I'm talking about like 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 in in the it's like say there's a little boy who says Yeah, I know. They have the girl, little tuck yeah. tuck friendly uh swim swimwear. You don't think that's bizarre? I I didn't say bizarre. I said sexual. There's nothing inherently there's nothing sexual about that. Even though it has like a little thing for, you know, his first pee 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 you don't think there's anything sexual about that. No. Why would it be sexual? What is sexual about that? Uh, because it's taken a little kid's private, and think about it, kids, they don't know about sex. Like, they really don't know about sex. They don't understand it, and generally speaking, if they do, there's something wrong. Like, when I was nine, uh, like, I had, well, I had a stepsister. Yeah, I hear you, but the tuck friendly is not saying anything about sex. It's not, but it's, it's not directly saying it, but there's a subliminal line there. It's to me, it's How is it indirectly it? talking about sex, or hinting at sex? I'd say it's hinting at that because kids don't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? Like if you say to a kid, it's okay if you're a girl and he's a, and he's a boy, just imagine to a five-year-old who's already confused about himself what that would do. You I don't, know what I'm but I don't like, understand. What does that have to do with anything? It's that's, you're, that's essentially kind of like, you know how an underwear and like kids underwear when you were growing up, they had like a, the thing where you can uh, push it to the side and then use the restroom. Yeah, but that was for uh, that, that's for that was that's that was for, for boys, um, right? So that, would that, that be that sexual? Is, that is but that's for biological boys, not boys who um, are having a mental condition in which they think they're another sex, or they're being peer pressured. Because if we can't admit that there's a level of uh, well, I think you, I think you're bringing a background story that's not that's not entirely present. Because there are kids, right? Whether you agree with or not, who identify as trans, and their parents are raising them as such. They're giving them puberty blockers and whatnot, and they're socially transitioning. So that that attire would be for those kids. It wouldn't be for kids who who are you know who are born born boys and they identify as boys. Yeah, but I, I feel like that's just really pushing it. I see what you're saying, but I feel like. But what is really it pushing? That's what I don't understand. What is what exactly is it pushing? Because kids don't know what the fuck is going on. Kids are very stupid. Kids are very. Uh, I understand, um, but what does that have to do with the clothing, though? Is yeah, there something the special kids... going on with the clothing? Yeah, it has a it has a genital slot. Yeah. Or lack thereof. That's that's what I call it. I don't know what they're called. But... Yeah, that's fine. But if the kid is 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 identifying as trans, then yeah, that would probably be better suited for them. As opposed to the underwear where you have the other slot, right? It's the same compartment. Where you, you know, pull it to the side and you get to use the restroom. Or a, the, the other slot for a, for a female where it doesn't have that at all. Maybe the kid that likes trans is just uh, going through a phase. I, that's, having, that has having... nothing to do with the clothing, though. That has to do with the parent and the child. That is their discussion. I have no idea what is going on, nor do I care because it's not my business. Just like if I raise my child, right, to be a boy... And to be traditionally masculine, and what I determined to be a traditionally masculine, don't worry about how I raise my son. You raise your son however you want to raise your son. Yeah, but if we can't admit that there's, uh, if we can't criticize something, we can't critique it, you know what I'm saying? You, because... I, I'm open for criticism, but the thing is the criticism isn't valid. You just don't, you just don't like it because you don't agree with the ideology. Correct, and doesn't fit. But that's not, a fault of the, that's not a fault of the clothing. I don't agree with you know, fat people. I can criticize. Yeah. I can criticize. You know the fat clothing and the fat mannequins, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's not doing I'll me any. It's not doing me any harm. 
that's a different perspective. I dig it. But at, at the end of the day, my issue with the clothing is I, I, I just don't feel like it's right for uh, people who create clothes to be creating little slots for kids who think that they may be in Well, there it. would it's, have it's, to it's, be it's, slots for kids if there are, in fact, trans kids. If there are, in fact, trans youth who identify, there are born boys, but they identify as girls, then that clothing would be suited for them. It's not suited for you. How can they identify? How can they identify as trans? Like, how, how can a little kid... That's between because, them. <laughs> I, I'm not going into that because that's none of my business, right? That's between them and the parent. Okay. okay. I don't know. I don't know as far as why the child believes that or how they identify it. That has nothing to do with me, bro. I don't have to agree with I it, but I also... Uh, that has nothing to do with the clothing that they choose. If a company wants to make, I, you know, clothing for trans youth, which is clearly a thing, you know, whether you agree with it or not, it is a thing. Then that's that's entirely up to them. I can do that. I appreciate that. Um, I was I, I thought you were uh, asking me to asking people to like call and like bash the movement, not so much the clothing specifically. My yeah, no, I I mean I think that's what the weird. issue it's was just, was people were upset with Target. What, what, what people yeah. were upset with Target and talking about hey they're grooming kids and stuff like that, and it's like that that doesn't add up. That's a fair statement. It is a hyperbolical statement to generally assume that Target is specifically grooming children. That's a very hyperbolical statement. I believe, as I'm a capitalist myself, I believe they're trying to capitalize off the trans movement. I just find it very sick and bizarre that the, that, that clothing is having little slots and all that for kids. But you clothing already admit, has it, slots it, it, for kids. They have slots for boys. For cis kids. I can't believe I'm saying cis, but... Well, you it, said it, that. I didn't say that. But yeah, they do have a slots for, it, for, for, you know, regular boys. That's a good point, but it, it, it's just fucking weird. You don't think it's, it's not about you. I get it. But I it, think it's, you, you think may it's consider it weird because it's not, it's not the norm right now, but eventually it will be the norm. Jesus Christ. Like, true God forbid that. It's nothing forbid. It just is what it is. And it's already been established by born that way. So if you have trans adults, well, guess what? Those trans adults were at one point trans youth. The same concept for the for the you know gay gay adults. At one point they were gay youth. And born that way, if you ask them, hey, well, when were you gay? They're gonna say, hey, I knew at an early age. Most, yeah, but here's the thing. There, there was a study done by a man who's gay. I believe his name was John Baldwin back in the 90s. He said that uh, he, he himself is gay, and he said that approximately 90% of men who identify as homosexual had, an ex had a homosexual experience with an older man. I don't disagree with any of that, right? But the vast majority of audiences, they don't care about that. How the vast majority of people in this country, that, that's, that's, that means nothing to them. I'm just letting you know as far as what is being, what what is going to be standardized. I don't agree with it. I don't have to. I mean, you, know, I, you don't have to agree with it, but you have to be prepared. So, 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 do you think that will be standardized? Oh, 100 like, percent. All of a sudden, and the reason why it's already been set up that way. Once you've established I, I born that way, it. well, then you, if someone is born that way, it's innate. Then you're just a bigot for can. disagreeing with them because they can't change that. No, I, I am transphobic. Absolutely, one hundred percent. I see a dude. I see a dude in a dress. That shit freaks me the fuck out. Hey, 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 that that's uh, on. I'm just letting you know that that's on you. And moving forward, I'd be very careful on saying that, whether it's at school, whether it's at work, because that's that's just uh that's where we are. It's as simple as that. You don't have to agree. I may not may not agree. I may very much raise my child very differently. But moving forward, I just you're gonna have to contextualize this for your child, because say they go to school with someone with another kid who identifies as trans. Now what? I know DeSantis may think he's doing something with you know removing it from the schools, but say your child goes to school with someone who is trans, they're gonna learn uh -huh. it from that kid. So I just would think that parents would want them to learn it from them. And you're going to have to contextualize it for them and understand what, what they are looking at and why that is. In the modern culture, though, there's a level of style. There's a level of trendiness to the whole trans movement, okay? 
So what's crazy is is that approximately doctors agree that approximately one out of thirty thousand to a hundred thousand people actually have uh, gender dysphoria. So there's there's a level of there's a level of trendiness right now to it that is completely unprecedented to anything we've ever seen before. And I believe that a lot of people are just uh, just want to make their kids trend to be to be trendy. I mean, Bill Maher, who I don't quote. I mean, I don't I don't that. disagree with you that there's some certain element in that. Right. Just as there was when it became, you know, gay or lesbian. I don't disagree with you. But at the end of the day, uh, that's that's uh, that's standard now. Now, the new kid on the block is the whole trans. And eventually that'll be standard and it'll be something else. God, God damn. All right, brother. Hey, I got a lot of respect to you. I love your show. Don't <laughs> Pre- on every Appreciate time. it, my guy. Appreciate it, my guy. Take care. Stay you, safe. I look up to you every time. Have a great night, man. You as well. Yeah, I think I think people took my video completely. They they just completely. It didn't. It didn't. It, I don't think they comprehended it. I think they thought I was saying something that I wasn't saying.